do you deal with those bullies in your life? The ones that just have it out for you, that no matter what you do, they're not going to be happy and they're not going to like you. Well, stay tuned, and I've got this really cool demonstration that I would like to show you. It deals with water, oil, and dish soap. Maybe you can see where I'm going with that. I don't know, but I think it'd be fun if you stayed and watched. But first, let's go to Colossians 3.14 and see what God says about um, perfect harmony. And you want perfect harmony, don't you, with this bully in your life? Yeah. Okay, Colossians 3.14. Above all, clothe yourselves with love which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Cool. All right. So love, love is the answer. Yeah, it is. So let's go ahead and start our demonstration and see just how love can make a difference. This is you. Water. Nice you. Yeah, you, you, you don't do anything wrong, right? Right? You don't do anything to egg on and make this bully in your life, dislike you all the more, right? I'm sure you don't. This is our bully, Crisco Oil. Or maybe you're the bully. Maybe this is you. And this is somebody at work that you are bullying. Which one are you? Well, for the sake of this video, I'm going to say this is you. Nice person you. This is the bully. This is the one who just has it out for you. All right, we all know what happens when water and oil mix. There's the bully. Yeah, we knew it. We knew that was going to happen. Look at that division. You see it? Right there. There's your bully, and there's you. He's on top. He thinks he has it all. He, he knows how to push your buttons. He knows how to make things miserable for you at work or wherever you encounter this individual. You've tried. You've tried to feel love, right? Yeah. You wake up in the morning. I'm just going to feel love for this person. And I'm going to do what I can to, to make this person like me. That's all in your might and in your power. You're not using God because if God was involved... It would, it would blend a little better, right? So you're just trying on your own mind to feel love. As I stated in a video before a couple weeks ago, I talked about love. Love is not a feeling. Love is an action. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that today. This will be a quick video, so stay tuned. Yep, you've tried. Look at that. Still not mixing. So we want to bring in love. Right? We all like, well, we like that word. We wish our bully did too. Our Dawn dish soap. We know that um, oil and oil needs an emulsifier to bind with in order to mix with water. It's a scientific proof. I learned it in chemistry. <laughs> so anyway, this is, uh, this is love. This is God's love. This is 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Go there. Take a look. Read the chapter. Read chapter 13 in the Bible, of 1 Corinthians in the Bible, and it talks to you all about love. It is the book of love, the chapter of love in the Bible. So we've got our, our God's love, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. We've got you, me, and our bully. What are we going to do? We're going to take 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, and we're going to see what happens. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It, it, is not, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always hopes, always trusts, and always perseveres. Okay, let's see what happens. We poured in our love, our action, not our feelings. We're going to mix. This is God's love. This is what happens when we invite God in. Look at that. Look how well that blended and mixed. There you go. All because you took 
1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7 and applied it, applied it to this particular relationship. So while not, it might not work on everybody, there are some people that are just so hurt and have had such a, you know, just bad experience in, experiences in life that they are just bitter beyond measure. And what it's going to take is God to change their heart before they will actually melt enough to open up and, and um, can accept the love you're going to give. You can still do this and you still should, but also pray for them because really it is God that can only crack a heart that is so hardened. So like I said, this is comical. It's it's kind of fun to see this demonstration, but it's it's something you should try and it's not going to hurt at all trying it on any person in your life that is is a bully to you. But just know that uh, sometimes just praying for them along with with showing them the love, praying for them that God would actually get a hold get hold of their heart and and crack it and let them see, allow them to see him. That's going to be the only way that they will truly heal and um, will start loving other people better. So, but I thought this was kind of fun. So are you being patient? Are you kind? Do you envy this person? Do you boast? Are you proud at work? Are you too prideful? Is that why they don't like you? Do you, are you rude to them? But don't think you are. Are you self-seeking? Are you selfish at work or wherever you are where this, where you encounter this bully? Are you easily angered by this person and they see it and they want to stay away from you? Do you keep records of wrongs? Do you tell them what they do wrong without admitting what you've done wrong? So consider that just because if you're doing that, that's not love and that's not going to make you will have the the division. So put in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, a little bit of dish soap, a little bit of God's love. Mix it up and see what you, see what you can do. See not what you can do, what God can do. We saw what we, what happens when we tried. It stayed divided, right? This is what can happen when you allow God to take so please subscribe, like, and comment, and uh, just, I hope my videos have been helpful. I have um, quite a few of them already posted. I want to post some more, but I would like your input. If you, if you have something that you would like um, me to do a study on, let me know. Send me an email or a, a message on YouTube, and I will uh, see what I can do. I have done many studies. I teach a Bible study locally, and I have done many studies on women's issues related to control, uh, insecurity, and fear, and just the list goes on and on. So I do plan to post them in the future, but I would like to hear from you. So please definitely comment and like and subscribe. Share this video. Share other videos that I post with your friends if you think it's something that could help them. So until next time, put your love on and just kill that bully with kindness because it's worth a try and you can only do it with God. So until next time, I'll see you later.